My name is John Balfour. I've been in the industry for some time. The focus of my work is primarily on systems. What we're here to talk about is the, uh, the language that goes into our systems. <coughs> having a common language and being able to communicate very rarely. Now, one, communicate very rarely. Now, one thing I'd like to point out before I get into this too far is that when Tom's team was going after the company for Orange Button, we were a competitor. And he won. And our immediate obligation was to support him. Because that's the way we look at the industry being successful. You can compete with your competitor and you can work with your competitor, but if you fight your competitor after the deal's over, you're really being kind of silly. So let's get on with it. Uh, if we're talking about the business case for PV and for all of this, we'd like to shift it from talking about projects, systems, systems, to infrastructure, because we don't treat PV as infrastructure. Most systems are attached to an infrastructure, but they are not built like an infrastructure. So when we take a look at this flow, and this, this graphic came out of the, uh, the, the uh, availability standard that was finished and, and uh, published finally last year, we had an argument in the industry about is performance and availability the same thing? And it's not. But we argued over it for about five years. <laughs> Finally, we put together this graphic. The health and condition of the system, its reliability, all of those things, drive the availability as a fraction of the specific capability, not capacity, can it do its mission. That drives the impact of production and performance, and that drives revenue. So that's the business case right there for PV when it comes to making systems work with the labs. Now, you all have seen this before, right? Good. Thomas told me this is very confusing, and I said, What's so confusing about it? It's really simple. Let me tell you how simple it is. This is about reliability. This is about, on this side, breaking it into two boxes. Is this side and is this side. On the left side are all the pieces of information that you need to collect, gather, curate, and use to determine what the numbers are for the dollars. When you do a better job, when you do a better job over here, guess what happens over here? These numbers go down, and the LCOE goes down. Those are the financial details of a page. Do we do this? There are a handful of companies in the industry, too, that they're not doing it as well as they could. I know Randy's group does some of this. But this is what drives the whole number. I don't believe that there has ever been anybody in this industry who's ever calculated a proper LCOE. And as time goes on, oops. As time goes on, this number goes up. How can you have a stable industry if you can't figure out which product is actually cost at the end? And we're selling electricity, we're not selling equipment. That's just part of the process. If we're going to go with an infrastructure role as part of the business case, we have to begin looking at repowering as part of the process before we go to EPC bidding. We have to determine what we're going to build. We have a project concept. And this is with or without storage. How many people, by the way, think that storage is simple? Sophisticated crowd. Most people are still saying, well, maybe it's simple, storage is simple. They're not. When you put them together, they're more common. Specification, reliability, back to my confusing slide. EPC bidding, effective project management. How many times have you seen systems where they built the system and when you go take a look at how they actually built it, there were a bunch of holes in the process? Once again, we're back to process. Data collection, curation, analysis, ability to improve the system delivery, management, organization, on field operations, harmonization, and all that comes together if you want to build systems that are going to last 50 or more years. The products aren't going to last 50 or more years. Modules aren't, converters aren't. But if you go out to the way the utility industry used to do systems, they build, they design, build, specify systems that can be rebuilt, managed, maintained over time, over and over and over again. <clears throat> so where do we end up? We end up where we started. It's the 
code of no good condition. That's driven by your process. If you have a good process, you get good results. If you have a bad process or no process, you get availability, production impact, and production impact is actually the performance. What's the real performance of the system? It's not the contract. What is it really, really doing? 